when you have charm and charisma, okay? Get some charm and charisma, kid. Like Booyah Boy, okay? You get some charm and charisma. Next thing you know, you're doing anal, bro, okay? <laughs> what the fuck? I felt some power. People take me more serious. I'm not crazy, I'm not delusional. I'm just a guy that cares about people. <laughs> That's every kid's dream, bro. When I was a kid, bro, that was my, I was, I was just like, man, I just want to get in some booty holes, man. Like, I became Goose Wayne about five months ago. My name's Goose Wayne, brother. All right, Goose. All right. Keep the world's safe. Pee pee poo poo caca. Yeah, you smell like caca. Vaca. That's cow in Spanish. Bo cow is a vaca. TP shoot from bung hole. Pee pee poo poo caca. Vaca. That's cow in Spanish. Bake the milk, go blah blah. What'd you say? Do you want to explain what that is behind you? Uh, it's a Harley Quinn mannequin. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, Goose Wayne has been nice enough to join us for a little interview. Goose, thanks for joining me today. I'm here. I'm here. So, how's life been since the show? This would really help if I didn't know you. <laughs> I know, should we maybe get into our backstory a little bit for some context? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'll just sit here and drink. <laughs> um, so, I made a Dr. Phil video on Goose, uh, just like I do all the other guests. Uh, you, wait, you commented on my video and reached out to me on Instagram, right? Yeah, you're, he was extremely toxic to me. <laughs> um, yeah. Very bad, cyber very bad boy. I was cyber bullied and I, and I did, I responded with kindness and I was like, dude, your editing's not bad. I would love for you to, um, like edit some of my videos if you could, you know? And, and that's, that's how we got to know each other. Yeah. Booyah boy. Uh, he was the, the only person that helped me set up a stream period. I had no idea how to stream. I had no idea what twitch was i had heard it before i had no idea never was a gamer it was booyah boy that um got me uh set up in streaming and also made me a discord channel like a server and i that i still don't know how to run and, and that he still owns but yeah because of booyah i now stream uh full time so well, i guess people are probably curious What's the situation with your fiance we were supposed to we're supposed to get married this month uh, but that's been uh, postponed this month, by the way, anyone wondering is June, 2020. Uh, we've been supposed to get married this month for a long, long time. Uh, but because of COVID-19, uh, and, uh, the, the protests that are going on right now for black lives matters. Uh, I don't know if maybe that's a trigger word for demonetization. So I'm not too worried. I'm never monetized anyways. Okay. <sighs> yeah. But because of that stuff, it's just, we postponed it cause we were supposed to um, actually go over to Finland to get married. Uh, but, uh, Corona is pretty, pretty bad in Finland right now. So yeah, that's been pushed back. He would like to, uh, get married on the Dr. Phil show. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, obviously you're not wearing the mask. Yeah. How, how often do you wear the mask anymore? Just for like memes and uh, stuff? It's or? so funny. It's so funny. You asked, I just wore it yesterday. Um, but no, I barely, I barely ever wear it. Uh, I wore it yesterday. Uh, I wear it whenever like, um, a request comes in, uh, for one of those personalized videos that you pay for that some people pay for. Tell me, right, what like, is that it, called? Isn't there a name for that? Um, so there's a company called Cameo, but the company that, which I'm also on, but the company that I do, um, that they take a less, less cut, like a smaller cut from, from like creators. So I, I usually just go go through them. It's called a uh, celeb video message or something like that. So, mm, gotcha. Like YouTube is like, it's so hard to get money out of man, but like Patreon, you know, the people that support your channel uh, support you on Patreon. And that just makes it so much, uh, it's just a better route for supporting you because you don't have to worry about what kind of content you put out yeah. there, whether it's going to be monetized. It's not like you, but you are super broke guys. So if he's got a Patreon, I don't know if he does. Get on there. He's super, he's so broke. It's so sad. I'm so broke. Link in the description. So you want to explain your new look? I've noticed the look's been changing lately. You're, you're blue, you're pink, you're, you're yellow now. 
Yeah, I just I get bored of anything really fast, and uh, that that it applies to my hair, it applies to cars, it applies to uh, what I do in in life. I'm I'm already bored of streaming, extremely bored. I almost walked away from the internet completely last month, and uh, I came back solely because I had so many um, like subscribers that subscribed for months out, and I I feel terrible that they already spent that money. Um, so yeah, I did come back to streaming, but yeah, I'm tired of the internet. So, uh, what's the, what's the future look like for Goose Wayne? Uh, I don't have no idea. I have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow. I know I got to plant some trees in the yard that my girl wants me to plant. And that's, that's as far as I know about my life, about the future. I have no idea. <laughs> I feel like, uh, yeah. like you said, you like change and there's a lot of change yeah. in your life, but I feel like she's probably like the only constant, you know? Yeah, you. she's uh, she's the only constant. Um, I've been the same way with women too. My whole life, I just get uh, bored of my partners really fast. And, uh, I got bored of of Batman really fast. Like I, I get it, I get addicted to things really easily. Like if I even smelled meth, I would probably get addicted to it. <laughs> um, yeah, I have a really like some people are like, oh, I have an addictive personality. You know, no, I have like that on meth. Like on like <laughs> Goose it, Wayne's it on be, meth. <laughs> no, I've never I've never tried meth, but thank you for um, clarifying. <laughs> yeah, I've never I've never tried meth at all, and I never will, uh, as far as I know. But yeah, I could. I mean, I get addicted to anything, anything at all. I think that's how that's how the, like the Batman thing started. I just got fucking addicted to being Batman, you know. So yeah and now it's kind of evolved like you've taken the name but you're kind of i mean to me you've always been goose you know yeah yeah i know yeah obviously i kept the name but that's just for marketing purposes it's it's, it's, it's tough to change it's like, yeah like snoop lion tried to change it and that's it's sorry snoop dog tried to change his name to snoop lion and he actually did change it and it just didn't take so he went back to snoop dog okay yeah you know you You'll always you, be you goose can't. wayne batman you yeah, can't escape it. it's such a such a long name, you know. But it is what it is. <laughs> whatever, it's memorable, I guess. Shorter than Dwayne the Rock Johnson, whom I look like. Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> Twins. Man, you're really yeah. growing the hair out. I didn't realize it was getting that long. It's really long, actually. It's just curl, kind of a little bit wavy right now, but it's really long. Yeah. This is what my hair looks like right here. I got I got nothing on top. And um, I kind of got like a, I don't know, like kind of like a, a Joe Exotic thing going on right here on the side. You look like Jake like Paul if he didn't brush his hair forward. <laughs> <laughs> if, you yeah, pulled sure. a, if you pulled a Joe Exotic into the headband, I think you'd look like Jake Paul. And I was like, well, I'm growing it out to get long enough so that I can comb it over both of them. And then I can like make a little edge and it'll look like with like fucking super glue or some shit you know and like make it look like i actually have hair that way i don't have to get hair plugs but for content god comb overs are funny so what's up with all the writing on the wall um anybody anytime somebody donates more than 12 dollars, I, I write their name on the wall you know if you donate 12 bucks you get on the wall and that's it are you still streaming on d live yeah i only stream on d live yeah i started streaming on d live um is actually right after i got on twitch i got an email from d live that was three months before uh, pewdiepie went over there and i was they were like oh we don't take any cuts from donations and i you know if it's too good to be true you just turn it down you just don't even pay attention to it and that's what happened i just i didn't even pay attention to it and then eventually i listened and it was true like they didn't take donations they do now though they do now just wanted to put that out there i'm not a representative for them or anything like that I'm, they don't pay me so but yeah yeah unbiased opinion yeah it's completely unbiased i mean it, uh if i do like the platform but if if you know any platform that takes less money from the donations that people that are donating to me take i mean I, i'm gonna go with that platform yeah you know what i mean yeah, so, maximize yeah. your revenue yeah of course especially i mean i'm not rich or anything like that no yeah so that's i, I feel like I, I know that you've done a lot of interviews with like dr phil guess has anyone ever told you that they got paid no have you ever asked you've asked right of course you have to i mean they've always told me like they just got a free trip out of the deal you know yeah i mean yeah and i i was just only asking because it's 
I always I get the question all the time because that that episode my episode plays around the world. I mean, every couple weeks I get like people DMing me about how much of an asshole I am. <laughs> Because you know, I I make her work and I don't work and I pretend to be. And it's not like, that's so long ago for me. That's 2018. We're in 2020, almost 2021. You know. Yeah. Um, but I get those messages all the time, and it's like, come on, man. Like that's a rerun, bro. That's a rerun. But that's a rerun, man. Get out of here. But yeah, no, I mean, uh, yeah, but I get the uh, oh, how much do they pay you? They don't pay, man. So if you want to go on Doctor Phil for money. They don't pay unless okay? you have a good strategy. Have you seen like all these cloud chasers that have been on there lately? Yes, I have. And even if you w- did go that route, you still have to have some sort of indirect um, plan, like to get paid off of yeah. your appearance indirectly. You know what I mean? They're like uh, um, I've been calling them like outrage artists. Yeah. These people that go on Doctor Phil acting crazy, and then they have like a plan I- after the fact. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a whole album that's already recorded and stuff like that. Like, uh, who's that yeah. one chick? Uh, Ava? Louise? You know what I'm talking about? I know. The girl who licked the toilet seat? Yeah. She calls herself a skinny legend and she can't with some song that was pretty trash. That All I know is she licked the toilet seat. I didn't even know she was on Dr. <laughs> Phil. Yeah. <laughs> all I know is she, li- she yeah. licked the toilet seat. But, but yeah. Did you interview her? No. I don't know if I she could. She seems like a big cloud chaser. Yeah. I mean, she'd probably do anything for attention. So if you see this, hit me yeah. up. Yeah. Ava. Uh... Hop, hop on with Booyah Boy, all right? I'd like to interview Treasure. That, uh... Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. She's got to be an adult now, huh? Yeah, she's got to be an adult now. She was, I know she was a minor, but she's got to be an adult now. I think that was so. Years ago. That's you know what? I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of uh, the Dr. Phil show, uh, but... Uh, there are like quite a few episodes that I really like, and Treasures was one of my. What, even though it's like so like, oh, crazy. Man. I don't know. It's just for entertainment wise, though, man. And and obviously it came out that it was all fake and stuff, but it was like, I thought it was super entertaining. Like, yeah, I did too. I it was, it's my uh, yeah, it's my top video on my channel. Is the Treasure reaction really? Yeah, yeah. Tre- Treasure, sexy vegan. Uh, there's there's thousands of Doctor Phil episodes, but I really only yeah like only a few that really resonate with me. Uh, Goose Wayne, my own, is one of them. That I think I honestly like. Uh, I, it's biased because it's me, but unbiasedly, I think that is one of the greatest Doctor Phil episodes. Um, I wonder why yeah, you think sex, that. Se- why? Because it's you. <laughs> just no, no. Just just looking back at it, it's so it's, it's so. It, it's such a such a unique um, episode. It's not like the typical Nigerian prince asked me for money and stole my credit card. Yeah, it's you know top what I mean. <laughs> it's top five for me for sure. Yeah, I didn't li- I didn't like Danielle's I think, uh, episode. I think her shit's just so iconic though. Like her, uh, it's iconic. It's iconic, it. but it's it's not really a special episode. It's iconic because something became like a huge meme. Yeah, but the episode itself is just any other like. Yeah, that's fair. Like, in my in my opinion, you remember the um the girl that said her the Eminem was her, was her dad. Oh yeah, I remember that one. In my opinion, her episode's way better than Danielle Brigoli's. Yeah, it could be. Um, absolutely is. But the the, the cash me outside shit just yeah the you know, it was an epidemic exploded. Yeah. Exploded. It was yeah it was a pandemic. <laughs> um, but but yeah, I mean I I and I don't have a problem with her. I actually I actually like her music. I get a lot of shit for that, but. I do like her music, and she unfollowed me on Twitter. So, but I, but I, you know, I still like her music. You know, no That's big funny. deal. <laughs> It'll be okay, Goose. <laughs> she, she made, you know how, you know how people are like will comment unfollowed. She fucking tweeted unfollowed with my Twitter, oh, and no. I was like, oh my god, this girl, this girl. Oh my god, she's she, yeah, she's funny. I think she's funny, man. A lot of people don't like her. What do you think about her uh, cultural appropriation stuff that's going on right now? Have you seen I that? I think she's good. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not black, so I really don't have any right. Is it like my opinion doesn't matter? But I think, she, in my opinion, I think she's so she's fine. I mean, um, I saw the, one picture if, where if she any, straight up looked like rihanna like she was like trying to look like rihanna i I think i think she loves the culture and i think that's actually really pretty like 
uh, that somebody of another race likes another culture that much where she basically wants to be black. I think that's really nice. Um, yeah. So somebody My might, only concern yeah. is that it's from like a, a branding marketing aspect where she's trying to be like racially ambiguous to reach more people. Nope. You don't nope. think so? Be no way. Because when she went on Dr. Phil, she had no idea that she what that while she was in the ranch, she was going to blow up. She had no clue. So... And she was ghetto then. Like, she was like... Yeah, she's really... always going to be a ghetto girl. And that's not a bad thing. Yeah. I mean, and that has not, uh, that has nothing to do with, with, like, being black. I'm talking about, like, the culture that she's, like, really... Um, no, she's around a lot she's... of that lately now. Isn't yeah, she? she's, like, she like, she's just, like, this, like, you know, this rowdy teenager. But that's her brand. You know what I mean? Like, she got famous being a rowdy teenager. I'm not hating on it, man. Like, do your thing, you know? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I do see her receiving some hate for trying to look black, um, quote. Um, but I, 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 I'm not black, so I, my opinion really doesn't matter. Like I said, but I don't think it's so. I don't think it's so bad, man. I, I, I actually, it's better than her being racist. And yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I think that's pretty cool. Did you see H three H 3s newest video about Black Lives Matter? Posted no, I didn't yesterday. See it. Um, I didn't see it. There's only one thing that I took from it. I thought it was pretty good. He was talking about how, uh, you know, people, a lot of people say like all lives matter in response to Black Lives Matter, you know? And he said like that's the equivalent of like a um, house in a neighborhood being on fire and saying like all the houses matter and then like the fire department spraying water on all the houses. It's like, no, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like put, like, put the heard... fire out first. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, absolutely. I thought that was really absolutely. neat. It is. That's that's actually a really good way to put it. But it's really interesting because the the that term Black Lives Matter is such a hard term to uh, get certain people to understand, even if they're not racist. It's just, you know, because at first glance, like the first time you think about it, it's like, no, all all lives matter, too. Like not only. But yeah, I was like, in that kind of boat, too, until I really yeah, thought about it. Yeah, uh, my yeah perspective. That, me too. Me too. A couple, a couple years ago. Initially, you're like, no, like everyone's life matters, but that's obvious. I mean, we need to talk about how there's like social injustice for this specific race of people and put this right. Yeah, but first. I, I, but but that that didn't cross my mind at the yeah, time. Yeah, me either. Know? The way that it would be racist if, is if it was only Black Lives Matter. That would yeah. be racist. You know what I mean? But <laughs> yeah. but just just saying that you know our lives matter too. Basically, what is what it is. Um, that's not racist, you know, but yeah. I'm going to go to my YouTube video I did on you and I'm going to see if there's any comments that, um, you're good, be... dude. Yeah. Someone commented, his woman is a good woman, irreplaceable. Would you agree? Yeah. She cooks good. No, <laughs> she cooks no, that's, good. That's, that's terrible. <laughs> no, that's a joke. Damn it. Yeah. She's a good woman. She cooks good. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck Someone just quoted, maybe come back with a couple beers. <laughs> I always do. I always do come back with a couple beers, man. I always do. I'm a good, loving, honest, and decent looking man. And I can't keep a girlfriend. But this guy, she's still willing to marry him. Man, life can be cruel. Yeah. Your hot take. Yeah, on it. man. It sucks, bro. Like, honestly, like, if you're, you, you don't sound like that good looking. So you got to be funny. <laughs> Obviously, you're not funny enough. Like, no offense. You're just not funny enough. <laughs> any things you want to put out there that you want people to know that you like just for the record if you could stop commenting on any creators things before you unfollow with your comment of unfollowing that would be great that shit is super annoying i don't care like nobody cares and that's like don't type on unfo just unfollow just go that that's that's like a super annoying thing to it's do it's a pretty toxic thing to do it's always somebody that you've never seen, like a, a single post saying unfollowed. Yeah, you're like, like, no, just, just go, man. Yeah, just go. How I get money is, um, well, at the time, like, no, I didn't make any money. I think that's the question. Okay. Right. Yeah. 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 The, whenever that comment was made, no, I was not making any money. I was completely reliant on uh, uh, my fiance. Yes, absolutely. Huge piece of shit. I do not disagree with people there. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at least you're contributing now. Uh, yep, sure. Sure. Uh, <laughs> I mean, she lives with you now, doesn't she? 
Yeah, yeah. I, I do pay most of the bills now. I pay most of, uh, like, where she lives right now is, this is my house. I own this house. This is, uh, you know, I pay, I pay most of the bills now. Yes. Yeah, that's something so, to be proud of then. If anyone's wondering, I've been um, high all day. Extremely high. So high. It's crazy. <laughs> and I'm on my, like, I'm on, this is the last beer of my tall boy. This is my 12th tall boy. Um, I had some beers this morning. I'm not even counting those. This is my 12th tall be- boy uh, this evening. Okay. And I'm so high. I am I was, in the sky. I was going to say, um, I've noticed on your Twitter and stuff, you've gotten really into weed lately. What's that about? How'd that start? Publicly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lately, I have been public about my marijuana use. Yes. What changed? You said what changed? Um, I, I, uh, I replaced some medicines some pharmaceutical medicines and with uh pot and it's been great and i feel great and no it's not too much to ask if uh anyone didn't realize i was i'm crazy okay and uh i take crazy pills and i replace those pills with marijuana and it's been phenomenal and i've been doing great and i bought a corvette okay and i go fast in it okay Jeez, the flex at the end <laughs> And I have AirPods. <laughs> <laughs> is your vet running now, or is it at the shop? No, my Corvette doesn't run, guys. It was a fake flex. It was a fake flex, man. Oh, <laughs> it yeah. doesn't run. Bought a used, broken Corvette, but he still has a Corvette. I I bought a twenty-year-old Corvette that doesn't run. Yeah, just a flex. Um, just a fake. Flex. But everybody knows I'm like fake flexing, you know. That's fair. I, yeah. My absolute favorite thing you ever did as a uh, you know internet personality was the gamer girl bathwater video <laughs> wow that's weird it's, it was so funny dude and didn't she respond yeah. too yeah she did respond yeah and she she, that's she huge. It, was, it was literally like it was one of the one of the last three things that she responded to on twitter for your for I, I think it still is it might still be yeah like, she got kind of yeah. canned didn't she like they shut her down on Instagram and so uh, they shut her down on Instagram. I don't know what happened to her. I think, you know, she, you know, what ha- she blew up so fast and so, so successfully financially that, uh, you know, maybe, she, maybe she did go a little bit Looney Tunes. You know what I mean? I mean, I feel like she's still probably monetizing somehow. Like she's like a private snap or something, right? Yeah. She's got, um, yeah. The Snapchat premium, I believe she charges for yeah um, i'm sure she's doing fine because i know at us at, at one point um she was making like 45 grand off snapchat a month or something like that yeah so. i'm sure she's doing well i wonder if she has only fans <laughs> i it's- she hasn't posted anything about it i really i really honestly though like no bullshit i really fuck with her like on like a genius level like she's so smart yeah she's she, really like, monetized smart. her body well <laughs> I don't mean that as a. I don't mean that no, as a I, dig, I, no, I know you. I know you. Yeah, I know you. I know you have like well intentions behind the words. Yeah, I know. She's kind of disappeared now. But the good thing about I some, some a big comeback. Like her, yeah, the, she can always come back. She can always yeah, come back on her terms. On her own terms, yeah, she can always come back. Um, yeah. I like how this was supposed to be an interview, and it kind of just turned into a podcast because we just know each other. We can just bullshit about whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I don't care because I'm not the one that has to fucking edit it. I don't care either, man. It'll probably be a pretty lazy edit. Damn, bro. You are, like, mad lazy, though. Yeah. Like, super lazy. When you have charm and charisma, you can kind of lack on the video editing. (laughs) Is that what you have? A little bit. Damn, bro. (laughs) That's Uh, all I have, bro. That's all I have. Hey, the the kid, the little nine-year-old that said... Actually, you might be like seven. That was like, oh, he he's ugly as shit. How do I not have a girlfriend? Listen, when you have charm and charisma, okay, get some charm and charisma, kid. Get it. You gotta get put it. the boost those like, stats. Like booyah, boy. Okay, you get some charm and charisma. Next thing you know, you're doing anal, bro. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. Okay, now you made my editing job harder. 
<laughs> That's every kid's dream, bro. When I was a kid, bro, that was my. I was, I was just like, man, I just want to get in some booty holes, man. Like, you know, <laughs> do you want and, me to leave this in or edit this out? I don't care what you do. Anybody can get in the pussy. You know what I mean? Like straight up. Hell yeah. But the booty hole, that's like, that's special. You know? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Any chance no, of is. monetization it's... just went out the window right there. Well, it's not my YouTube video. I mean, that's your job to just cut it. I mean, I'm not going to if it's fucking hilarious. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm just being. I don't sacrifice comedy for money on my channel, you know? If I think something's funny, I'll even I don't care if they copy or if they demonetize it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not relevant. I'm not relevant at all. So it's not gonna. Uh, <laughs> I, I, if anything, you'd probably be losing uh, twenty five cents. For, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you might be losing twenty five cents for for not monetizing this at all. I feel like if anyone's so, still watching this at this point, it's just someone who is actually a pretty big fan of mine and just doesn't even have point, anything yeah. better to do. <laughs> Yeah, the only so person that would suffer is, is me. Uh, you know, if if for some reason I like turned over a new leaf, and then like that little clip came out where I'm like talking about booty holes and shit, you know. <laughs> but honestly, I just don't care. So yeah, yes, I like man. ass. That's I like what I always respected hole. about you. You don't give a shit. Yeah, I don't. I really don't. I, I like I like butts. I I can't. Something about this tells me that you're not going to edit it at all you're because it's so long at this point like might as well a lot of work. you would have to literally watch this dumbass shit over again to cut it yeah that's the plan i don't think it, now I don't, you know why my now you know why my editing got so lazy <laughs> yeah if, if somebody really cares they'll watch the whole thing you know yeah exactly i do that dude i do that i'll watch like dumbass shitty youtube videos for like 45 minutes just because I have nothing to do, and I just want to watch something while I smoke. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'll just fucking. I think a lot of people TV. just like to, um, uh, like have company. You know? Yeah, I'm like that. I'm like, I'm the same way. Yeah. So it's nice. So if there's any virgins that. right now watching this, and you made it this far, I'm here with you. Like, seriously, like I beat my meat in the morning. You know what I mean? <laughs> like that's probably gonna get cut out. So. <laughs> All right, it's falling off the tracks so now. Goose, thanks for joining me, man. <laughs> Always a pleasure. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one.